Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Christian, uh, aka Shayfan12, uh, coming to you with another video. Uh, a while back I was asked to do a review on the uh, a 4 to 5 day growth challenge on the Mercury Future. And uh, as you can see here, hopefully you can see I've got the light on here, which is actually pretty blinding, but I just wanted to show that I've got about 4 to 5 days, actually it's about 4, 4 and a half. Any trolls or naysayers out there? Here's a cotton pad test. This shows there is double. And I got this stuff hanging on here. I gotta wash this off. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off this light real quick because otherwise I won't be able to see. I got like this big bright dot in the middle, like. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, I've already got my brush loaded up here with Arco, gonna lather up. So yeah, I was asked to do a um, four to five day growth challenge, and sometimes I'll grow it out if, um, you know, I'll grow out the goatee or I'll do a beard every once in a while, but you know, I really like to be clean shaven. Um, I would love to be able to shave every day, but my skin doesn't tolerate it, so every couple days is as long as I like to go. So if I'm going about four to five days, it's an act of love, guys. I'm going to kind of take my time lathering tonight. I already uh, took a hot shower and prepped my face, so it's not really too much pre-shave prep I need to do here. Or I don't really need to do a lot of pre-shave prep. Sorry, I it, it's been a long week, and it was a long day today. And when I get tired, I can't talk straight. Yeah, so I wanted to just uh, make sure that the light was on so you guys could actually see that I had some uh, decent growth. Uh, I'm using a, an iPhone camera, which is good, but still it's not the best, so sometimes it doesn't show everything. Um, I'm not going to feed the trolls, but somebody uh, challenged my uh, ability to grow facial hair. Well, whatever. So, one reason it took a little while to get this video posted was it's been kind of a learning experience getting used to the future and some of its higher settings. And so, it's my first adjustable, so I didn't want to take off the side of my face. Um, even so, with, um, with about four and a half days growth, um, I could probably still take that off with number one. I mean, it, number one is, I mean, it's a heavy razor. It's a little more on the aggressive side, but even number one is still gentle. So I'm starting out with number two. I don't even know if you can see that. So I'm setting number two. I love the sound that this thing makes while it's cutting. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but uh, a little bit of stubble left. I mean, your first pass is never going to take everything off, but even at a low setting like two, this thing just mows right through it.
if you've seen my past videos, you'll know that I love my Mercury HD, and I've really been loving my Edwin Jagger, Edwin Jagger DE89. But this thing, I've been using this exclusively since I got it. I love this razor. It's just got a really nice quality feel to it. Okay, that's the first pass, that's done. It's off a little bit. If you guys haven't tried uh, Arco Soap, I would really recommend it. I love this stuff. Um, the smell kind of threw me off a little bit. I mean, it's a very controversial soap just because of the smell. Um, I really like it now. It just smells like a clean, lemon-scented soap. Uh, it's very basic. It's like $2 a stick. But it lathers like... Well, personally, I think it lathers better than my high-end uh, art shaving soap. So first I was going to do this video with uh, this razor dialed up to 3, but I'm still figuring that one out. I'm actually, um, for my across and for my, my the, the first pass is the only one where I use a higher setting. I just, I like, I like one for my last couple passes, so I'm just going to turn it down to 1. At least for right now I'll probably get more comfortable in the higher settings. Yeah, I don't like to go too much time between shaves because if my hair gets too long, I mean, my skin's naturally prone to acne and ingrown hair, so if the hairs get too long, they kind of tend to dig back in. But, to tell you the truth, I love seeing, uh, when I watch videos, I love seeing uh, a good deal of hair mowed down, so I totally get it. And I'm more than happy to take requests for you guys as long as it's within reason. So no new videos yet from Tim, uh, Steve hasn't posted in a while, but uh, Paul H, good to see him posting again. Um, Dorian, Paperhanger's been posting some good videos. Now, I got this idea from uh, Dorian, and also from another guy. Um, his YouTube handles, I think it's called The Shockwave. Uh, he goes by Beetlejuice on uh, Reddit's Wicked Edge. It's another shaving forum uh, based out of Canada. Um, if you check out my video where I'm showing off my shave done, I'm going to a little more soap on this brush because it's drying out a little bit. Um, if you check out my other video where I'm uh,
showing off my shave den. I've got my whole collection of stuff there. Um, and if you guys would like to see me shave with anything in there, um, any combination of products or whatnot, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it. Um, not trying to steal anybody's ideas or whatnot, so. Uh, but it's it was a good idea. Um, it's nice to see new stuff demo from time to time. So if uh, you guys got any requests, just let me know. Only thing I'm kind of running low on right now is the uh, Arnie shaving cream. That one's uh, pretty much almost empty, so uh, if anybody requests that, it probably won't be in stock. But uh, never hurts to ask. Someone had mentioned that I didn't have any Mitchell's wool fat. Um, I've tried it, and if you can get it to lather properly, it's a really good soap, but I don't know. It's just, for me, it's just not worth the effort, and I've got other stuff that's easier to lather. The lather that works really well, too. Maybe someday I'll try it again. couple little spots I need to touch up. That's a nice shave. Cool. Alright, let me do one last rinse here. Well, not the last one, but... Gonna go with some cold water. I leave my face a little wet. Well, not wet, but just 
a little moist when I put on my aftershave. Uh, tonight I'm using Aqua Vava Ice Sport. It's good for night because uh, it's not really overly strong. So it's not gonna be a lot to be smelling while you're trying to sleep. It's got a nice cooling sensation, but it's not overpowering. It's not as strong as regular Aqua Velva, but it's good stuff. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Um, sorry it's been so long, I'll try and get some more videos posted here a little bit uh, uh, more frequently in the upcoming weeks. So, um, post any comments, questions, and um, yeah, hit me up if you'd like to see anything um, using those products I uh, had in my den. So, until next time, uh, have a great day. Bye.